Hello and welcome. Right, now I'm not going to say I've not been on this map before, but this particular map I haven't. Yeah, this is me going in this time with you. I've had a bit of a sneak preview yesterday. I had a look at this and I really like the look of this. So I thought, you know, that's a, I fancy doing something a little bit more creative than normal. All my other maps, all the other Let's Plays are already set and the scene is set and we're a long way through almost all of them, to be honest. I don't, I have done this before, but this I'm intending to be my next American map. I, pres I think it's American. I'm sure it is. But yeah, this is very, very different. So I wanted this time to actually take you in with me and show you my settings and set the scene and all the rest of it. Because I've had a sort of a trial run, so I know roughly where I'm going and roughly what I'm doing. Completely different start to what I normally do. And I don't mean, I, I want, I haven't got any start from scratches and it is my... It's not one of those starts that many people ever cover because it's hard, it really is. Because your funds are limited and you're, you're against a lot of pressures that a lot of people don't want to sort of go against. It's difficult, it really is. You don't need any more than that. So, at this time I'm taking you in with me. Let's have a look at the settings. Now this will remember my normal. And I have got start in spring. I love that mod. It's amazing. It is. I'm going to turn the time down to times 0.5 while we explain. Now, as having been here before, I know that right there, there is a game cartridge. And because this is start from scratch, and because I always pay back my loan, now that is beautiful. It truly is. I know it's in the distance. It really is. Now, our place is beyond that mountain range, slightly just beyond that, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, that is where we are going to, our base of operations is. And the shop is, I did start this and I started the BJ, so I thought, no, you've done that a thousand times. This has got some really interesting features on it. Right, let's let's first of all go to settings. We've, we've slowed it down. First of all, I'd like to prove that I haven't been on this particular map other than the one minute that I've been talking to you. So right, next we need to be changing our settings. I am leaving and taking that off. I am going to change this to normal. Yeah, almost like a farm manager start. I'm leaving traffic on. Seasonal growth, yes. One day, definitely. Fix some version with off. Snow's on. Crop destruction is on. Periodic plan is the, do you know, Let's leave everything on for once. Dirt, I'm going to slow down because it really does very little other than how dirty you get. And I've got to be honest, having that done on fast, slow, whatever, it seems to make very little difference. Fuel usage, I'm going to be very slightly kind of knock it to normal. Trailer fill limit is... Should we stick that on for a chain? It does weird things. I've got stop and go breaking off, but it still does that funny skittering effect. I've got all of those off. I have got some additional mods, but that is the Giants. The default is 0 0.9, so I haven't tweaked it. It is, I've got mods on, but aren't doing anything. Now, maintenance cost, I'm going to slow to 50% of the cost. So I used to be 25, but the interval, I'm going to slow that down to 25. So it's it's still, it's still I would say about right, maybe 50-50 all the way down is perfect. Yeah, I'm not altering any of those. They're all as base game sort of stuff, so... Yeah, uh, field info, we want interactive zone markers off. Now that, yeah, euro, we want dollars, miles, at, let's save the game. So we are now casting stone. I have not looked at even what is in the sales, as you know, because you've come in with me. Right, so we've got, first thing I always do, I hate the new start from scratch. I thought it was hard enough on 500,000 in FS19. But to have a loan at the very beginning, it's tough. It really is. It makes it very much more difficult. You're always getting your loan interest things. And I like that freedom from such things. So the fact that we got that uh, collectible of 50,000 has given us an extra 50,000. Now then, I am uh, rules of engagement. Yeah, contracts are allowed if they're on the map. I didn't actually get that far. We're going to run down. And yeah, we're going to take this, this is, yeah, this is the rules of engagement as I come. So I'm not expecting to do any farm work. We're going to enjoy the map, truthfully, but let's let's do a bit of running. Because I'm trying to do speed one. Now, that, uh, which is the quickest way for me to actually look at this. Now, field prices for are quite amazing. They truly are. And it is a very different map, as you can see. 
Yeah, the only real farm stuff is on this left-hand side. So there's enough farming for if you want to farm. Actually, if I run to where I'm going to run to. Yeah, and this... Let me just jump to this. Now then, this is the fairgrounds. That that you see straight in front of you. Now that is the patch that I'm interested in buying. It truly is. Now I did want to completely clear this, but you can't. And it is a bit of a shed. Not because I don't like the shed. Because I wanted to make it our own. So what I'm going to do is exactly the same. I'm going to do my old trick of... I'm going to give ourselves a year to look at the local sales... Um, yeah, we've moved from a bit of a disastrous uh, place at our last farm. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so all of our funds are spent other than this little poultry amount that we've got uh, here. So then, what am I going to do? I'm going to, yeah, having done this before, I'm going to, yeah, it won't let me demolish it. I would have liked it to have a blank canvas, but it is a nice shed. It really is. So I'm quite happy with that. So this is going to be our base of operations. It's not big enough for a farm or anything. It's just going to be the farmyard base of operations. So then, we want generators, and I, I, let's have a look, are these, yeah, modern farm pack, I really like these, these are quite amazing, and it's, being as that's a Horman shed, it seems highly appropriate, but we actually use, we're going to stick two of them down, because we're on normal, it will, will alter the, in fact, if I remember rightly, because we started on, start from scratch, this will be in still in hard economy until I like, get out and come back in. Even though I changed it, apparently. I'm sure that's what I've been told. Let's set that two of those. So, with that in mind, that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to come back in. I am, yeah, so that, that's our generators and also sheds. Again, they are goods generators. So, we're back down to we're 50 grand lower than we would have been. So, we got paid for one of those sheds, basically. So, I'm going to come straight back in. I'm going to see you once I've restarted the game. I realised, to prove no tampering, I really should have taken you out with me. Although, you could still come in behind the scenes and cheat. But the real-time clock, which is at the top, is 14.22 and 11 seconds. So, if you check back to the clock as I left out, then that is... I did go out of the game completely, restart the game, and I've come straight back in. And if we look at the time, you will see there's no 20 minutes added on or anything clever like that. I'm, I'm not into cheating. Yeah, so six minutes, the amount of time now that we've spoken. I haven't done anything. You can see work time. There's no cheating been going on. No, the years played is always on one. There's no, yeah, I've not gone on and prepared fields or done anything like that other than, well, in fact, I was even standing in this very spot. So, yeah. So, we are here in March and our time is 0.5. I will be playing one day seasons. I uh, love the one day season. I think it's amazing, which is pretty much 12 months, which is the the three day seasons as I used to play in FS19. Now I'm playing this game as close to old seasons as possible so I am going to call this ultra realistic to a degree. I am also going to call this ultra realistic for another reason. There isn't any um, auto loading except pallets. I will allow pallets but if I'm doing it any bailing it is unless I don't mind semi-automatic I don't mind us getting a semi-automatic bail loader but there's no magic in loading i've not done that on fs22 from the beginning and i don't intend to start now so no there's none of that also no big bag handlers on this particular let's play this is pallet forks yes it's going to be a challenge for certain things and it's going to be bail forks pallet forks all base you know prop not i won't say base game all things mods are allowed nothing stupendous i want to play as realistically as possible productions animals the the whole gamut i don't mean i'm gonna do and i'd like to shake this up a little bit i um i think we're gonna go sheeps and sheeps <laughs> Sheep and chickens. I'm going to not have cows for a change, so there's going to be no manure on this. We are also going for a different start. Yeah, on this, if you look at the map, there are... That's why I'm putting it on 0.5. This is rules of engagement. There are a lot of very interesting businesses. Paper. I mean, and actually, there are paper plants now on the base game. The fairgrounds, no, that's not one. Here it is. Old mine shaft. There are also these here, down here, which I had a good look. Gold bar factory the crude oil production so there's a lot of very very interesting things that's the train if I remember rightly yes it is train loading station rogue river furniture so yeah and there's 
feed production that's a special one as well there's uh, four extra crops on this drying rogue river sawmill train transfer silo oh wow that looks like the um the one that does fertilizer animal dealer me a f yeah restaurant all that type now there are some other interesting ones let's have a yeah gross no not that one yes used tires the wash plant the tar production Empty pallet production, asphalt production. Now I'm interested in doing that. There's also the steel factory, and the, that's it. I think everything else is normal. So there are quite a few interesting things that are. So this let's play isn't going to be just about farming. It is. We're going to try to incorporate the map interesting features in and make this something a little bit different. Truthfully, although farming is, uh, yeah, it is farming simulator, and I'm not trying to do away with that. We are going to do a farm, but we're also going to incorporate all the productions. Because FS22, if anything, is productions. It really is. And, yeah, based started with the uh, things. Yeah, now, there's some lovely sheds. And a quick look. Beautiful. Lots of storage for us. I can't remember if there's a repair point. But, yeah, I can't remember where the shop is. I don't know. Oh, this is a straight through. Ah, brilliant. Yeah, no, there is. Open vehicle options. So there is a workshop. I thought it said workshop and shed. So there's this, and then there's this open shed, and then of course there are two sheds that we've actually just set. And there are light switches on those, I'm not sure about these. And I've done that the Hormon colours as well. So we have got quite a decent set of sheds. Now I like this because most of the time on my start from scratches, this is this this is the sad bit where I don't have a, a farmyard for an awful long time through the let's play. Now then, I did that without buying the plot of land, which is very naughty of me, yes. So let's buy that plot of land that we have actually uh, already um, yeah, put some stuff on. Now, it doesn't cost, it's not going to break the land, but it is quite a nice size of plot. So I presume we get this, yeah, sort of quite a square around it. So these trees, I think, are ours as well. Not sure if we're going to do anything with them or not, but they are proper trees. So if we do fancy doing a bit of forestry, or we get totally in need of funds than we can do. So then, premise is we're on normal economy now, and hopefully we are. We've got those two generators. That's it. No more because they are good ones. Um, I, having gone through this, yeah, not stupendous. It's not like the I have had some that are so super duper that you're earning fifty grand a day and stuff like that. Which for this first year that's acceptable but if it was at that all of the time then yeah I, I, it, it takes away the you've got to ask yourself the question as i've said quite a few times that are the generators winning the game for me or is my skill at farming simulator my look the skill the map are they are they winning for me or is it just the generators could i just sit here and do nothing and generate money well yeah i could and that's that is what i don't want now then, so then, what is in the sales? We're going to have one year, as I have done many... Oh, now I've never had that. I've always wanted to have a go at that, and that is that would normally be out of my price range. Now, the backs, why not? I think, does this do wet-dry as well? Now, that is intriguing, yeah, because that offers uh, an awful lot of... Let's have a look at its backs before we get excited. Yeah, definitely. If not, we can always settle for the 16975 of the Navigator, which I'm quite happy with as well. Yeah, definitely. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at how much the backs would be, which I do believe... I'm sure that's got a wet-dry back. I'm sure there's a couple of backs. Dry box, yes. Aha. Now, yes, I know it's expensive. But truly, it is, though, isn't it? We could buy the unit and, and work towards it. It's going to skin us a little bit. We have got a year to do this. That would, that would sort all of our things out. And then we would want the... Oh, it's under... Right, what is it under? Still not used to this. I've had, had this mod on now for a few weeks. The uh, in alphabetical order and that sprayers, of course it is. Gordon Bennett. Right. So then I'm sure. Yes, the foot no forty cell eighty four thousand nine hundred ninety again, and that does. So we've got everything covered if we did that. Obviously, again, affording it though is. Wow. 
So that's... Uh, why is one twice as expensive as the other? I don't know. <laughs> I'll answer this question. I'm interested in buying that. I really am. I think that we should do that. I've never seen it. I've always wanted to have a go. So I'm going to go have a bit of a gamble on that one. I am. Which then means, yeah, we're going to buy that. Um, I presume they're narrows. They look narrows to me. Defenders, beacon. Yes, we will. And spray star. What does that mean? We'll keep it as is. Numbers, no, because I don't think we want more than one. So 80,854, which is quite a massive chunk of change for us, truthfully. But I'm going to go out on a limb with this one. Right, that's all that we want out of that one. So now we're going to just do what I normally do. I'm going to time lapse the rest, though. We're going to just go through to next March. Are we going to start farming on next March? I cannot buy any new equipment until this section is gone. So we're just going to speed through buy what is useful to us and then after that whatever money we've got left we can at that point and that point only start to buy new equipment so we're gonna yeah give ourselves a year of scouring the sales and then we're gonna start farming so yes let's let's put this up to one next really that makes no difference yeah we are obviously using um, sleep anywhere that's the other thing I'm gonna say yeah, well, contracts are allowed if they're on the map. There's not many fields, so I'm not sure that there are. We have not bought a field yet. We've only got this, but that's going to leave us options. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I don't want to buy fields yet because then the crops are going to go wasted anyway because we've not got any means of. As you can see, that is a good one, but it's not. It's not like me adding fifty thousand a day where things get silly. So then let's have a look. What's to? I know. I thought I said. Oh, I haven't had my old friend for a long time. Wow, I think we're going to go for that. Yes, old friend, it's a long time since I've seen you. We do need a trailer. 18.5 metre, can I do better than that standard? I don't know for, for better than that. As a starting trailer, that is not pretty good. I'm going to keep everything as is, as a rule of thumb. So, not bad, not bad. Right, anyway. Where am I? No, it, it really doesn't. It takes seconds to do this. I, I, yeah, I always sort of wanted to streamline this, but to be honest, when you think about it, you're only going to take seconds on each day. The biggest thing is this, where you're waiting for the night, and I can chatter, yeah, sort of explaining the rules of engagement. So always like your input on this as well. If there's any... Uh, I mean, I've got the challenge mod. I've never used it, but... What is that for? It's, yeah, but are you a telehandler or... Because that is a good price, but then I can get 3.5 for act. No, I, I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. 24 meter cube. No, I'm happy. We will pass on both of those. Now then, don't overshoot March. That's one. Yeah, start from spring is obviously on for it to be March. I did say that at the beginning. Actually thinking about it, um, I need to disable that because it does weird things. I've also got crop rotation on, which also again I want to go as deep as realistic as possible. Weeds are on. Everything's on. There's no dodging bullets or ev everything's on. Everything is real in that way, including the loading now. Ooh, the swifter. We'd need a beefy tractor, though, to, to do that, and there's no guarantees. Yeah, how big is that? 6.3. I can actually do better than that normally. I would go for my the HX20 or probably my 7 metres, the really simple ones that was for the Fent GT in FS19. That one is tempting if we knew we were going to have... Because 42,000 for that is amazing. Should we take a punt? Mind you, I used to go no-till. And it no till is the thing of uh, now that's not bad, but again then we definitely need a hook lift trailer. So and it was also only yeah those it's yeah not the standard trailer. So do you know we're going to pass on that. It's a very hit and miss way this is, but that's what I like. You've got you will of it, and I like the fact you've got generators because it does give you a bit of a fighting chance. Without it going silly, there are a couple of mods where I think the radio tower produces 
uh, like vast I mean that's two of them remember so that's like 10,000 goes up and down a little bit but it's 19 to 25,000 and if we oh, really will you stop doing this on the cultivators <laughs> we've not got anything to pull it right okay it's gonna rain uh, we are on July plenty of months yet I'll start to worry yeah that, I've done this a few times and obviously sometimes the tractor doesn't pop which is unusual but it does happen yeah sometimes you can get 900 balers and no but it that's what I like about it I also like the fact that the yeah I do love the sales for the fact it does introduce a ooh, oh the Heston absolutely yes oh oh dear that's that's a tad a tad bright shall we say now I don't normally mind these colours but that actually hurts my eyes yeah I, I think we'll go for um, I think black actually I think it would suit that down to the ground I think we're going to chrome let's give it a bit of a shine I do love this new mod it's absolutely amazing now that doesn't hurt my eyes so much it really doesn't and I love the Heston so it's a Massey Fergie. What a steal for 35,000. And that too. I'm sure that's the one that can swath. It is. This is the Cavernland one rather than the... Uh, can we change it? No, we can't. This is the Cavern. I'm happy with that. Yeah, we're going to go for the Vario. No, we're going to switch that off for now. Because we it's money. We will. I, I will be aiming for that, I might add. Right, actually, we are, we are going to need a harvester, are we not? 10.8 for 35,000. No, let's leave it. Not the end of the world. Yeah, I'd like to stick to... I, I often mix and match. I have on... Um, and it doesn't hurt. Most of them have got adapters. You can use them. But let's let's try and go for a little bit more... Um, well, I don't know. Farmers have adapted things for thousands of years, hundreds, no, thousands of years, really, to be honest. So, well, now do we need that if we're going to... Well, we do for straw. It is a f cracking one as well. I do love the Vicon. It's amazing. So I think we will. Well, it looks like we're going heavily into grass and baling so far. And September... Yeah, I wanted to bring you with me this time. So I thought, there's no sure bet that I didn't cheat the first time. I mean, there are ways to cheat, but it's not, isn't the way I roll. At the end of the day, I wouldn't be trying to play ultra realistic and show everything I do if I was really interested in doing that particular sort of thing. Would I stop fiddling with things? Well, you see, now that's 8,460 in the back end. The solar panels aren't working so good. So that's what I'm saying. It's not as oh, fantastic. Oh, my life. My favourite. We've got to have that. We'll obviously... Oh, it's battered. <laughs> I had the most battered TLX 3500 yesterday on this. That uh, We're going to buy as is. If we want to make it larger, we will do. Because when you consider that's normally 90-odd grand... That is a steal. The tractor we definitely... Oh, the high lift. Yeah, but I don't, don't intend on doing any logging, really. It's a shame, though. That's a cracking price. I've been paid 400 grand for that on Silver Run. That's only 140 horsepower, though. I don't... Yeah, no, we can do better than that. That is a, actually a rubbish sale item. I mean, 31% off. It really is probably 100 grand tractor. So, do you know, we would say no to this. It's going to get a bit dark, so I'm going to just keep it at 8. Otherwise, it does that funny little trick where if you go to 9, where it just pops forward an hour, which took me forever to work out. Well, actually, one of you viewers pointed this fact out to me, that I'd, and I felt stupid Wally, because it's fairly obvious, really, but I always wondered why it did that skip and then stopped. Well, it, it was just going through an hour. That's weird. So 18,000 in November. We must have had a good sun month. Yeah, now that is the... That is a good price but it's not a lorry lorry it really is just yeah it is a proper what's with all the pink <laughs> what is with all the pink uh, no we need a proper lorry 
would do and it is a cracking price i've got to be honest that really is an absolute bargain but we do need some money yeah we do so we'll pass i'll probably kick myself for that one though that is good but we've already got a we do need a tractor but we, there are some good modded ones if push comes to shove i'm hoping we get a doesn't have to be ultra powerful it's just that it, i would like a bit of a better than a 30 percent off item Fourteen thousand four. Rain truck is still there. Do we skid steers? Oh, a flex planter. See, wow. Six meter. That's a no till, isn't it? Oh, that does everything. I didn't realise. Ah, it must have been changed for the map. Then we will go for that. That's amazing. I mean that is for a six meter is a cracking deal. The saddle track, no, because we've gone out for our uh, super duper, haven't we? So we won't be having a saddle track as well. Definitely not. That's just reminded me that my phone is on and could make a noise. Let's just switch that off. Yes, I was uh, went to look on Mr. CLP's thing and apparently he's been hacked. I had to go on his Twitter to th I could not find him on YouTube. I was going to watch one of his uh, sessions this morning and went on Twitter and he's been hacked, bless him. So I hope he gets that sorted quickly. Yes. Aha, brilliant. We have some... Oh, and I had that all the way through the Western Wilds. We can't afford the... Uh, <laughs> the Lexium, but that's a cracking mod. It is. We may, if it's going to be our lead tractor, it's a fairly hefty one as well. To be honest, 170 horsepower. You can put a front Pepe 978 one of those on the front. You can. So we're going to buy it as is. 11 to just under 12,000 for a 170 horsepower tractor. Absolutely, yes. And likewise, if we're going to be doing bailing and all the rest of it, then I'm going to say yes. Now, how much? 5,000 litres. That's a bit cheeky. It would give me a good run around, though. It would save me running everywhere. Right, I think we're going to keep as is. It's not the fastest out of us. Anything I remember about it is slightly slower than the what I'm used to. But, you know, for 32,000 on one where bailing may well have quite a do I go for that? I doubt 7,000. Oh, and no extra money for the three point. We will use that as the field scanner for without a shadow of a doubt. And for a little bit tiny auto loading, there are some trailers you can get for that. Those we can't afford. Now then, let's have a look at our. How are we doing then? Heston Baylor. That's. We have that. I love the way they devalue by half, 50% straight away. Oh, we have got a tractor. I've forgotten about the fence, but it's not a very powerful one. It's got some cracking features, though, which we may well... Well, we don't really need it for fertilising, do we? Although we may to begin with. Yeah, medium tractors. So that's our lead tractor at the minute, which is incapable of doing that. Yeah, that is the only bad thing. So we do need a slightly more powerful... It might do it at a push. It may. We have the snow settling... And let's go through to right. Oh, I hope the snow's glad to. Uh, the other, yesterday I had to swish this onto April because the snow was settled still in March. That's the only time that obviously I'm going to change this. If yeah, that's the only sort of a provisio I am going to say. Just checking, making sure it's recording, which is why you get a funny little. Oh wow, yeah, 1,350. Definitely in winter, we're not getting much sun. Right, the Lexian is still there, and right, so this, unless the snow doesn't clear, is us. The other thing I'm going to say, we haven't bought a field yet. No, no, I do know where there's a... Go oh, seriously, this is both times I've come on this, and it's... 
Let's speed time up till about 10 o'clock, just in case you get that wave where it really is clearing. I did that on that one as well. Oh, hang on, before we do that though, let's just check. Is there anything in the sales? The Schaefer, Mulcher, nine meter. Now that normally is very expensive, but for 13,940, we are gonna need a Mulcher. Is this the one that, no, it is just a Mulcher, it's not a roller. But for that, for a nine meter, is amazing. We are going to say yes, please, even though you absolutely battered. Ooh. Now for bailing. And it's the right one. <laughs> I don't believe that. You couldn't have asked for it, right? We've got to do that. That's worth about it's 80 grand or something silly. Let's have a quick look. I'm sure it is worth an absolute fortune. I was watching the um, the Looney Farm Sim guy looking at this. Uh, it's in low loaders, I'm sure it is. It is 55,000. So we're paying the same almost for my go-to, which would normally be the the 50-foot gooseneck, which is, by the time you've done what I would be, about 12,000. Now, yeah, the only trouble is, though, we, we're doing that, but we haven't got a lorry yet. And we're going to really seriously skin to ourselves. Yeah, we're going to go flat deck standard because we can't afford anything else. And again, at some point, we're going to have to buy a lorry. So then, March, let's speed up until, let's give this a couple of hours till 10 o'clock. And if that hasn't cleared by 10, then we're going to go through to April. We're not going to miss any sewing. We've got a. I'm going to use uh, big bags. Um, I'm not saying I'm not going to use the multi fruits. Oh, this is looking good. That's definitely changing. That's, I don't mind if we take it a little bit longer or until, say, dinner time. Still got time. Yeah, oh, that's definitely receding. I saw it uh, go in the distance. And we're going to have to go to the shop. And we're going to see on this little tiny bit what. There's only one field that I can recall that we can afford, really. Come on, please. Surely you're going to recede. 12 o'clock. Oh, fantastic. Right, brilliant. So we are in the month of March, just. <laughs> so that is a brilliant. Right, I'm going to do, I'm not going to hop map hop, but just for now I am. So there's no school doddering, no broken uh, recording where I'm, uh, yeah, I've got time to do something by stopping the cameras. So the best way to do that is literally to uh, hop across the map. Right, so then let's have a look at our thing. We can't use that mower, unfortunately. We can use almost everything. I think the Heston, if I remember rightly, that is big. Although we've got this for the future, we definitely will not be able to use or afford its implements yet. The fence, we may well have to use this for fertilising and by its body system to begin with. A cheap fertiliser spread, I think I might go the same way as I did last time. Until we, I will, this is going to be featuring when we've got some money. Yeah, so we've got a trailer, baler. We have got a fantastic Cavernland, but we've got no way of using it. We can use that at the minute. Yeah, so we might have to buy a normal, traditional. We've got that fantastic lorry back, again, for the future, because it's no good to us at the minute. Six meter planter cedar. Yeah, that's quite amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, two track. Well, no, we have got two tractors. Yeah, really. The Fent, Fent GT is definitely a tractor. Then we've got that. No, remember, no. Yeah, and that massive, fantastic drop deck. So, yeah, again, we are at some point going to need a lorry. Right, now then, I do believe the field that we're after is really a stone throw away from here. Right, yeah, well, that was what was on the sales today nothing that we can yeah now the field i'm after doesn't look like a field at the minute no it is a way a long way off actually it's field 56. hang on one second though let me just check contracts contracts are allowed i, I, I like to explain the rules of engagement as we're actually going rather than yeah because sometimes well there is yeah yeah fertilizer all my life they're only little fields though, aren't they so They're not going to really, yeah, do anything fantastic for us, are they? We're not going to win a fortune from them. But it's something to go for, but the fields are always, they're obviously very small. So, do you know, let's do this. Let's go for our own field. Let's buy 
Field 56. And we're going to start with the grass business, which makes sense when you consider the equipment that we've got. Yeah, it really does. Right. So then, now we need to buy a little bit of standard equipment to make this... Yeah, this is this is really just about equipment, this one. We're not really going to do anything more than this. So we are going to go to... That is a point. Where is the actual shop? Shop. Bit. On this. Uh, I know where the... I know where the actual um, thingy is, but I don't know where the actual shop is. I think this is... This one's the same one as on Hickory Valley. No, except for Hickory Valley, I'm sure it's got a point here. Oh, it has here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that is the same as Hickory Valley then, completely. Yeah, the actual point for repairs is about here. But if I remember rightly, isn't it in that door here, this room with nothing in it that's the shop is, which is a little bit weird, really, but hey-ho. Most people don't bother to open it this way anyway. Right, so we're going to need to... We're not going to need to do anything other than probably buy the cheapest set of my go-to mowers in a pinch, which have started me on many a Let's Play. And we can't use the GT though, unfortunately, which is what I would have done normally. So we pay 7,000 for these. We've already got a mulcher, so I would go for the HX20 because that would actually double up as a mulcher, but, you know, we don't really need that. And this time... I'm going to go for some nice colours. Yeah, we are going to go... Now that we're using... It is green, isn't it? We're going to go chrome green. Go on, then. We're going to keep the same green for the other one. Love the fact it doesn't cost you as well, which if you were buying a thing, no, maybe you would. Maybe it would cost you, truthfully. Right, so we've got mowers, we have got windrower, we have got a baler, and we haven't really... Does that have a configuration for bales? Could we buy a dolly? That might be the better option, truthfully. It is a bit of a beast. Yeah, I would say the torpedo can at a pinch, really at a pinch as well, manage to do that. So let's grab a, one of the uh, Phoenix ones of those. Oh, it's a bit of a struggle to get through the door. Right, okay, dolly is then. We have no point in buying another trailer. We've already got one, we just need to buy a dolly. So D dolly. You see, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love these at amazing value, 3,500. Yeah, I did try that once a long time ago. I'm not, yeah, it may well have been fixed by now, though, but I just, I do like this one. And it is, of course, right now, just about what we really need. I'm not going to put any options on at all. Not that there are many, but, uh, right, so that is the trailers. Let's go through this. Do we need anything else? Yeah, we've got mowers, windrower, baler loader but we do need a set of bale forks and i'm going to go for an old friend for this yeah definitely and oh wait, what on earth why are it's because right let's shut the door i think it's that that's doing oh that's shut the wrong door that's better i think i was getting snagged on the bottom of the stairs still a bit difficult to get through right so we need um telehandler tools we also need a way I'm going to insist on a weight as well whether it, it would do it or not just to be realistic and I am going for the free foe I am not going for any other weight it's yeah is amazing for a telehandler yeah I won't yeah it's the, is the the one to go for uh, oh, I'm going on the free foe the next one we throw not now then, I think we're going to go, I think we'll go black. It's red, it is red though. Yeah, exactly, that's why I don't want it to be anything else other than red and black. And the design colour, I can't work that out. I did look yesterday when I was doing this because I did exactly the same colour. Because it, it was a gold though for that one. Right, so that's that. We want telehandler tools. We will buy a pallet foot when we need to, but for now... We're going to go for my tool bale. Yeah, I've had this before. I'm going to go long forks. 
And we've gone Sally Do you know, I think I'm going to keep it as is. I'm quite happy with that. Right, so we've got still got some emergency money. Let's open the big door. That's, that could be our way in and now. That way I can get through as well as you can through that weird door that seems to pinch you. Right, so then, yeah, we've got that if we wanted to plant, if we, you yeah, know, this is emergency sort of funds, isn't it? Now, we are going to need a fertiliser, so again, yeah, I think for now, now with the swap body system, are we going to use that? It does give us additional storage. Yeah, I think that's necessary. I think it is under trailers, I'm sure it is. Or is it under the Fan GT pack? It is. Yeah, now we can buy that as well for liquids and all the rest of it. But, and I'm not buying the little fence. Yeah, it's the only thing that I wasn't that impressed with. It's a cracking mod. I'm so glad that Farmer, glad that Farmer Andy did bring it in. I'm going to go for... But yeah, the skip. I know it costs us a lot in a way, but that 4,500 storage is ideal for fertilizer and stuff like that. Should we change the colour to something? Yeah, that lovely green again. I think that would be nice. Yeah, that is really beautiful. It is. Right, so yes, seven grand. We're gonna need a fertilizer spreader. Have I missed anything in this? No. Are we going to use that? No, no, we've got a telehandler. So we've got the bale. Fan GT now, we need a cheap. And I'm going to go for one that I've gone for quite a few times in Attingham. Um, I went for this particular one. It is very cheap and cheerful, but it is a cracking fertiliser spreader. F, I think you're looking for. Yeah, it's one of the cheapest in the thing, apart from the 18 metre one. In fact, I think, is it about the same as that? Which is why I like this one. Not that one, that's my favourite. This one here, the FS62. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's not got a massive capacity, but then we've got the, uh, the skip body to actually help us do that. So let's change that and let's customise this. Do we do this green to match the fence? Do you know, why not? And the design, I think black. I do. I think that would be perfect. Chrome black. Not that you can see the chrome if you uh, do that. I think that looks nice. I'm not. You see, yeah. The only thing I always have thought is let it down a bit. It was its colours. So let's buy that, which is a grand total of three thousand five hundred twelve for a twenty-eight metre spread, which I don't think's bad. Lime and fertilizer. So yeah, we haven't got a sprayer. That's but again at the minute we're really doing grass work because of the kit that we've actually got. So I love the fact that this has got plenty of room for equipment. That is really nice to see that. Right, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this little lot over to our field. Oh repairs. That's gonna seriously skint us. It is. I'm gonna do that off camera. Yes, 1458.02, so I'm going to literally grab this and bring you back in once I have repaired everything. And then we're going to take everything over to our field. And, oh, front three-point hitch is what we do need to get from Pepe. And now then, I hope this works, because it's not everything likes the mower bit. If not, I have a plan, a cunning plan. Yeah, having tried this on Silver Run, I, uh, if this doesn't work, are we going to lease it to see? I think we may do. Right, so it's in miscellaneous. And now we do need to, oh, need to do our fields as well. I think we might buy the data for this very first field because it's seriously going to really cane us. I can't, yeah, let's buy that. Yeah, we have special tanks fitted in the back of all of our uh, tractors. Wink, wink. <laughs> now we, yeah, we've got to go for the bail pusher. Now then, what are we going to do with this? I think a nice purple. Please do it purple, not pink. Yes, bye. Absolutely yes. Yeah, I wanted to use the cargo ramps. But not at the minute. Yeah, we can't really afford it. 
I hate my, the weight of my thoughts. Oh, there we go, the front lifter, that's what we're going for. We're going to lease it for, for starters, because I can't remember if we can cut grass with this. And I can, yeah, my, my plan B will be, uh, <laughs> if this doesn't work, will cost me probably about the same price as that front lifter, so I'm not going to waste money on doing this. We are going to quickly... I know, I know it can have the... Oh, my life, this is battered. I know it can have this on it. It's, I'm just, it's the height of the mowers. I'm sure this was good. It did weird things, though. It really did do very strange things with having this on. So, yeah, it, it does some weird. It doesn't like... Uh, it may have, been, may have been an update on it, but, yeah, it did some really... I used to say it was demonic, demonically possessed because it did some really strange shaking which it doesn't do if it's not got a, a front lifter from Pepe on it so I, I always think it is definitely to do with that you know, I, we are seriously getting into the point of danger money now really danger money bank loans are frowned upon as on all of my let's plays that doesn't mean to say I won't do it now then will you go down Can oh, you look actually perfect yeah, that really does look perfect. I think we're on to a winner. I think this will do. The only trouble is the torpedo is going to be a bit of a... Yeah, I would use the Fent GT, but it's... Uh, having tried this before on the old stream farm, it didn't... Yeah, it wouldn't go low enough to actually stick a mower on. It does accept that. But, uh, yeah. Right, let's have a look. How badly damaged. Ooh, well, it was a bargain. You can't have everything now. One thing that always catches me about this fertilizer spreader is the fact that you have to un unfold it. Its discs are locked. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, you have to literally... Can you see? Let me look at that. See, there's a little tiny lever. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't work unless you do that. So, having had this a couple of times, I know it's the trick. Right, so telehandler. Let's grab the telehandler and stick the front things on so that everything's ready for business. Oh, we do need to buy. No, we're gonna. We did say we're gonna buy the data, didn't we? So let's do that. Yeah, precision farming. So as realistic as possible. Oh, it won't let me. Oh, you know what this means? It's not a real field. Which means we're gonna have to plow. Well, it wouldn't be it, yes, it wouldn't be fantastic, would it? Unless something went slightly wrong, really, would it? Let's be honest. Now then, let's get you and the weight. So we have number one problem straight away. Ooh. Did I not buy a telehandler? Please tell me I. Oh, you weren't paying attention. It was in the telehandler section. because of how badly damaged this is. Okay. That's intrigued me. Let's have a look. In fact, there is an easier way to settle this. I'm sure it's telehandler tools. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong one. You need to be going down to our garage. Telehandler tools. <laughs> right, it's okay there. Well, it could be. I think I've knocked it over as well. Let's repair this. Let's see if it is that, if it's refusing to work. Yeah. No, no, it's, yeah, it's all interesting stuff, really. Right, let's have a look. I was going to say I'm not going to do this, but the part of the problems. Oh, okay. Got one. Easy. It's that was there. I heard the tink. So it's pretty much where that oily bit is. I think. Looking at that. Right. Let's have a look. Are you 
should now pick it up. You are a telehandler and you are completely repaired. You may well have to roll over it though, have to run over them sometimes to actually make them. Uh, well, no, I don't know, I might be able to. Oh no, because it's not falling the wrong way. Well, <laughs> that's a strange one. That's definitely got me beaten. It's got the right hooks and everything, and we are definitely a telehandler. And it's definitely a telehandler tool, so that is strange. It's definitely not liking it. <laughs> right. Oh, do you know? Well, this is, a, this is a problem that I am unsure as how to fix. It could be the map. But yeah, strange things do happen on brand new maps, and it is very, very new. Right, now, where is my free throw weight? It did say the boy. Ah, there we go. Don't run over this time I did last time. Oh, no, it is that way. It has the nice hitch on the back. Yeah, I thought the black one would match this perfectly because of, of the black and red. Right, I am unsure as to how to handle the uh, tool bale. What we're going to do is 75890, let me write that down, and we're going to order something else just to prove proof of concept that it could be that that mod doesn't like that. That's all I can think. I'm, I'm drawing a blank for anything else, truthfully. Yeah. Let's have a look, and if we have to sell that, then uh, yeah. Please, no, it's of course it's a telehandler. I'm second guessing myself now, thinking it's not a telehandler. We could always go for the Sapphire. I've never had any problem with that at all. Oh, there are the, yeah, the CSZ ones with reclining tips. Three times. Yeah, we're not really trying to do. Hydraulic reclining tips. Okay. Length of the tips. No, I'm happy with the shorter ones. Loading mode automatic. No, that's the entire thing of this. Capacity round, square, small. Two bells, three bells, no bells. Okay. Working with, we shall have as is, and hope that this one is going to work. It is, it's not automatic, so and that is one thousand six hundred and fifty. Absolutely yes. Right. Okay. Let's try that again. I hope that this time, if this is a mod clash and I can get this to work, and we have to send the tool bale back, then um, right, where is that? It will have somewhere in the middle of this lot where I've moved something I should imagine. Somewhere, there we go. Fantastic. Right. I can't see it being a map problem for, for things like this though. <laughs> you were saying. No, no, you, there's definitely nothing that you've done wrong. Right, okay, well, that's that's got me foxed. It has, I think it's got to be a map problem, truthfully, because to, to the chance of two of those not working. Can we lease another telehandler to just prove that this is not... Yeah, will we do this? I think we will. Let's just go for a... Any tell let's go for a base game. You always, everybody always says that uh, the base game ones are the ones to go for. Well, Farrison is a base game one, though. All right, so we'll pay myself this straight back. Three eight two five. Three eight two five. Right, that's. Very strange. Right, let's try this. And just if it's the Pharisee that's gone wrong, what we'll do is we'll do a swap. 
will just say the value of this is that if it's down to a mechanics issue like that that's all I'm going to say I'm not trying to do any school dodgery it's just we've got a telehandler that might not be a telehandler let's have a look oh it is as well oh my life I have never had a telehandler that's not a telehandler before just check for my own sanity that it is not a wheel loader in a telehandler shape or yeah no <laughs> it seriously is right we're going to do a straight swap with this what we're going to do is we're going to buy that and then sell that but make sure that my money is at 74,240 and we're going to buy the money too we'll just do a straight swap because yeah, let's select and let's purchase for just enough money, yes. And let's sell the... It doesn't matter because the money's not going to be the same. We're not going to make profit from this. Yeah, we're going to sell that. Absolutely, yes. And we are going to buy the... Yeah, give ourselves... 60, that's near as damn it actually. Yeah, that, that'll do nicely. 60, oh, oh, oh. I, I've never seen that before. I've actually had that one. 77, 749, do you know that'll do? That is a bit of a weird one. So we've actually got another, well, another bale fork as well. But hey ho, it is what it is. Very, very strange. This is Farming Simulator where you should expect the unexpected. If this game's taught me anything, it's that. Wow, I never would not have expected that. So certainly not a map. I did think it was strange for a map problem, truthfully. Brilliant. So there we go. We have a money too. We don't have that, and we have seventy-seven thousand seven hundred forty-nine. We have a field to prepare. We're going to just yeah. I'm going to stop recording for one minute. I'm going to, we are going to need to lease a plough, a 170 horsepower one, I think the 6 metre by Royal Christie one is what we're going to do, which I believe, is it on the ploughs, I think it is on the ploughs still, yeah not subsoilers, I'm sure that's right, it is 8,000, can we afford to buy it, I just think we're going to lease it, 180 horsepower, so yeah we can do it really. Right, so for once I am going to do a little bit of work on our first session. Oh, but we do need to repair this, right? I am going to bring you back in once I've gone over to the field and I have prepared it. And then we shall, we'll grab one of the other tractors and I'm going to manually do this. I can't afford to follow me really at the minute. It is, yeah, the, the, by the time I've repaired this, well, the bits that we need, we're going to be clever about this. Now then. I think we've gone too far forward again. Ah, I think you might have been alright actually. Right, repair. Okay, let's get that underway. Yeah, this is it. it is a good, a very good track to this. To be honest, I'm impressed with this. It's uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever had it as the lead tractor, but hey ho, it is what it is. Right, I'm going to see you over at the field, and we're going to yeah. Actually, when I've done the ploughing, I think I'm going to grab the fence. Do we need the fence? What else can we take? What else do we need? Do we need the planter? Now then, that is a point. Yeah, I've got nothing powerful enough. No, I shall see you over at the field. I'm going to see you shortly. This is what I call my uh, generic goodbye for those sessions where I've done a recording and I didn't realise I was going to split it. And this is my... I do hate it when I don't say goodbye to you. It seems very rude when you invited guests in to come and have a look at your content and you don't say goodbye so this is what I always add as the spliced goodbye so yeah I'm going to say thank you very much for watching I truly do hope you're going to continue with me on this journey and I'm going to say goodbye for now